For several years, I have been receiving letters from the earth. Now she urges me to share them with you. I believe that they come deep from the heart of God, the nurturing energy in all of creation. I was born on the 4th of July. My birthday is a real party day, celebrating the independence of our country. This year, for my birthday, the earth wrote me about celebrating interdependence. This is so helpful to me and perhaps to you. Dear Nancy, today you celebrate another year of life. Congratulations and happy birthday. You always celebrate your birthday with the life of your country. It's a happy time of partying and parades, picnics and fireworks. And I know it causes you concern because you know both you and your country are part of a global community, interdependent on each other in so many ways. So you may say celebrating independence is not as important as celebrating interdependence. And I say go for it. My creation is an evolving creation. The many ways people choose to live, organize, express themselves, and relate contribute to the flow of diversity ever-present. And it's also true you humans have a unique role in that you do have much intelligence and ability to manipulate and use the gifts of your planet for your own benefit and gain, sometimes at the expense of others and at the expense of the ecosystem. If you go too far you can create conditions that will make it very difficult for even your species to survive here. And so I know you want the humans to awaken to their common dilemma and institute change before it's too late. I hope for this as well. And so I continue to write you and I love you and I interact with all who listen to me. It's your birthday, Nancy. Be awake. Dance. Participate fully in this wonderful life you've been given. Marvel at the flowers. Exert your body and feel life coursing through your veins. Float in refreshing water. Listen to a symphony. Join the cacophony. Celebrate your independence, your interdependence with the people of the earth. Celebrate the USFA. Celebrate the good here, too. And know you are always a unique child of mine, an expression of the universe, full flower, capable of love. So do that and be happy. I love you, Gaia. You can listen again on speaker.com, read the letter on my webpage at spiritualseedlings.com, and follow me on my Facebook page at Nancy Flinchwell Author to receive a new letter every Friday. And I encourage you to take time to listen to the earth today. You just never know what you might hear.